Tiger was the glamour boy of the team. I mean, there's no two ways about it. I mean, the girls just used to crave after him wherever we went, up north, didn't matter where. If you say there was rivalry, there was rivalry and a little bit of hatred at times. Lynn came over to me and went absolutely uh, ape why I wasn't out there. I explained to him that hey, uh, I changed gear, I was all set, getting myself prepared for a league match, which in my opinion was very important to me. And uh, he said that uh, I was a very ungrateful young fella. And um, not only was I not going to ride for the rest of the evening, but I also had to vacate his house instantly. So. Um, uh, things got heated and uh, we did not ride in the second half uh, in the league match which uh, meant I got fined by the Speedway Promoters Association for not, uh, uh, for not turning up and riding in a league match which was fairly serious in those days and of course uh, the man that had taught me most of my things uh, up to that stage then Silver and I parted company. I don't know why, but she put half a Valium in my cup of tea, which I didn't know about. And really, I don't know what Valium's supposed to do, but it chills you out on Speedway. You've got to be on top of it, really. And what happened was, in, I think the first race I'd done well, and the second race I was third, but I was a bit behind. But in my brain at the time, I thought myself, I'm going to have a big leg right on the outside. But I never turned to into the corner and went dead straight into the balls. It was a bit of a bang. I mean, Rady, Rady, as I said, in, in general, was a really happy atmosphere track over and away, I mean. Well, when you was racing against Brian Foote, you was racing against three people. I mean, that's how Brian was. I mean, he was a lovely fellow off the track, but on the track. He used to say, Foot's my name and Elbone's my game. And that's how he was. Murder to ride with. He was so money orientated, he'd kill you for third place. He was that bad, you know. And he turned up with his handlebars, completely different to ours. The seat with big springs on where he broke his back and he had to have a sprung seat because of his back. On a borrowed bike, they fitted it up before the meeting and he got a maximum. I mean, that's the sort of uh, chap he was. And if you was, say, if he was behind you, 
although he was in his team, he'd race you for that point. He'd race his own team partner for that point. It was a noise objection, and I mean, it was a crowded room, and there was these two old ladies that were sitting up the front, and they said, oh, can you speak up, only we can't hear, and they was complaining about the noise at the stadium, you know, I mean, it was all a bit of a joke, really. It was so sad, really, taking everything down. He got onto the Benevolent Fund anyway. Charlie Foote was running it then down at Paul. And he sent me a £10. And Len said, bloody insult. He said, put it back in the envelope and send it back. He said, I'll give you more than that. That's what he's like. That is Len. If Len said he'd give you something, he'd give it to you. He didn't, pro he didn't make you promises and not pay you. Len has got to be one of the best promoters there are. Um, I used to think Johnny Hoskins was right up there, but I think Len may have just uh, crowned that. An absolute showman. Uh, we all know he's taken his pants down and got covered in flour. Uh, what people don't understand in the, in the early days when I was living in uh, Seven Kings was that every night of the week we'd be out fly posting West Ham, we'd be fly posting the whole east of uh, east end of London. Uh, a lot of those resulted in fines because of you're not allowed to put flyers everywhere. We were out on the back of trucks, we were doing promotion. Uh, Len worked very, very hard at his job, loved his speedway and uh, a really great showman. I remember Len, the thing that sticks out more than anything about Len Silver is Old Spice aftershave. All you could smell was after, <laughs> Old Spice everywhere. Yeah, I race pigeons now. Mind you, I've always had pigeons ever since I was a little boy. Always mad on racing pigeons.